The button mapping screen is used for mapping the controller buttons to the keyboard and mouse, turbo setting, and turn assist. When you select a profile from the profile selection bar, a button mapping image appears. Click a set of buttons to open the editor windows to set the mappings. Click on the View All tab to view all the controller button mappings. Click on the Change Gamepad tab to change the gamepad type. A window opens with a drop-down menu to select the controller type. Select the desired controller type and click OK. Some settings might change if the controller has different buttons. Each controller button can be mapped to a keyboard, mouse, or joystick. To map a controller button, use the drop-down menu to select a device and then the key or button. For example, if you want to map the controller button to a keyboard key, use the drop-down menu to select the keyboard, click the bottom box, and then press the key you want to map that controller button to. Click Save to save the profile mappings. Turbo mode allows rapid fire of a controller button. You can enable or disable turbo on any controller button and set the level of intensity. Turbo mode must be on for turbo buttons to work. You can put the keymander in turbo mode by pressing F10. To set turbo on a button, first, click a button set to open the editor windows. Next, click the top part of the editor window to set the turbo level. A bullet icon will appear for each level. Set the level 1 to 3 of rapid fire you want to use. Click Save to save your turbo settings. Turn Assist helps you continue long mouse movements without having to move the mouse. Turn Assist works by holding down the Turn Assist button while moving the mouse. The turn continues automatically until you let go of the Turn Assist button. To set the Turn Assist button, select a device, assign the Turn Assist button, and then click Save. 